<laughs> well, uh, let's see what else we can hit on here real quick. Oh, Tana, I wanted to watch Tana's response to the iDub apology. There was a response? Yeah, she did a podcast. Oh, I haven't seen. So, um, does that seem good? It seems good, right? Let's watch it. Yep. And my... Um, who's, is this just her girly? Who's this? Yeah, that's her best friend, Brooke. Is she an influencer or just a normie? Um, she co-hosts the podcast with her. She uh, wasn't a content creator before Tana. Okay. My Instagram Here's DMs that. are just so much like mention you in their story, mention you in their story, mention you in their story. And it's not like random people. It's like news things. And that's never usually a good thing. Uh -uh. Like if I wake up and my Instagram DMs are like me being tagged in a bunch of fucking news accounts and like press thing story like i usually did something that i'm going to have to then apologize yeah. for i click on one and it says i dubs has apologized to tana mojo i'm like checking the date i'm like is this april fool's day like what's what's mm -hmm. going on i just i sooner thought i would die before i would ever see anything like that and it's funny because like two weeks ago oscar was like you would have the most viral episode of canceled and like it could be good for you to have idubs on and like try to squash be and i think he is going on her show right that's interesting he is good man i'm sure i think that'll be really good for them mm -hmm. if i don't even know if you can call that beef or just talk about things like you know what i mean blah blah and i was like telling him like i would sooner have on joe biden like in, in yeah the, like in it the, would never happen in the sense that like i didn't ever think he would you know what i mean yeah. i didn't want to like Hey, like we've never talked one time, uh -huh. like ever, ever, ever. We've never. Well, you ever did talk spoken. that one time. <laughs> well, <laughs> there was that one time. That one time, yeah. You know what I mean? Did they the even gamer really word. talk though? Did she even say anything? I can't remember. No, she just got freaked out and then yeah. ran off. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess he posted this apology video, apologizing for like a bunch of things he did in the past. One of them being the video he made with me, or like to me, or something. And I was like, damn, like, I just never expected that. And I don't know how I feel about it, you know, because like, and I don't know how to say this. I'm, I'm not talking about anything in regards of the things he said, but I'm, I'm more so just talking about like his actions to me, like, you know, him showing up to my show, him kind of putting me on blast, him inevitably making me kind of canceled and mm -hmm. lose subscribers and have to apologize and all that type of stuff i i kind of think i like deserved that and maybe that's like dark like to say but like i don't feel like i'm owed an apology and maybe that's because i've accepted it so much that like people always ask me if you could go back in time and like make that never happen like would you and i always say no because i feel like at the time it was obviously a very <laughs> What's happening over there? Oscar goes cry. We <laughs> <I> heard him. <laughs> like it was a very dark really? time period of my life when it came to like self-reflection and trying to figure shit out. And like, I think I would be a completely different person if I didn't have that. I think mm -hmm. it like, I was on track to just be so on my high horse and like egotistical and like nothing could go wrong. That something going <laughs> wrong gave me such a dose of reality that like, this might not last forever like yeah you need to be held accountable for actions you i don't know like it, it like it made me do so much necessary growth and i think it also changed the entire trajectory of my career in life like i don't even think canceled would be here if like i didn't get canceled a bunch to and that was kind of the start of that to like yeah. shape that brand for me like it wasn't like i went into this being like i'm canceled like i'm scandalous like if anything i wanted to be brand safe mm -hmm. to an extent you know what i mean and just like everything i i feel like it really shaped the course okay sounds like everybody's That's changing. very interesting yeah <laughs> everybody's Never. growing yeah. i mean we we were impressed with tana she's mature mm -hmm. she's great she's cool i i thought she was awesome yeah and um you know listen this was all a long time ago i really like who she's become today i thought her yeah i think she's really cool she's been through a lot and 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 ian's been through a, mm -hmm. a lot of interesting stuff too yeah and great i i i think it'll be a nice podcast the two of them i mean there's other stuff she says here that she was provoking him and know. 
just looking back as well, I think even at the time I was more like, you know, I can't believe all of this is happening. But like you were poking the bear. Like I was the one who mentioned him first. And That's like right. at the time I had this boyfriend who was like so obsessed with him. And I just like. Although mm. a tweet is and his, well, whatever. Yeah. Y'all will have a good episode. Yeah. Good for you guys. You want to see the most unhinged TikTok ever? 